When we're talking about discrete random variables, we can use our Casio to help us find the expected value, or the mean, as well as the standard deviation. It'll take a few steps, but we'll still get there. So we have a problem. Suppose a baseball player had 214 hits in a season. In the given probability distribution, the random variable x represents the number of hits the player obtained in a game. So the probability for having no hits is going to be 0 0.1712, the probability for one hit uh, in a game 0 0.4995, so on and so forth. So we have our x and we have our p of x. So to find the mean, we need to remember the formula that mu sub x equals the sum of x times p of x. For us to go through and sum up x times p of x, we would need to do 0 times 0 0.1712 plus 1 times 0 0.4995 plus 2 times 0 0.2086, so on and so forth through all of the variables. What we can do to get our calculator to help us is if we go to mode, stat, so our statistics mode, which is 3, we're going to be using two variables. So we do number 2, this a plus bx. It's going to give us two columns. And for the x column, we're going to enter in 0 through 5. So our 0, 1, 2, 3, oops, 3, 4, and 5. And again, just using that equal sign to get you to go to the next column. Once you're all the way at the bottom of the first column, hit your over button. And if you hit down, it'll take you to the top of the next column. This is where we're going to enter in our p of x. So we have 0 0.1712. So 0 0.1712 and 0 0.4995, 0 0 0.0771. Uh, whenever we have the probability of four hits in a game, it's going to be 0 0.0256. And the probability of five hits in a game is going to be 0 0.0180. All right, so we can see that we've got all of our information in because we have gone through and we have the same amount of data in both columns. So once we have all of our data in, hit the AC button. This is going to take us to a blank screen and then we need to get to our stats menu. So we do shift one, we get to our stats. So our formula wants us to sum x times p of x, which is now x and y. So we're going to go to sum and then x and y right here. So 5, and hit your equal sign or your equal button. And it's going to give us 1.3404. So our expected value, our mean equals 1.3404. So that means that we're expecting him to get 1.3404 hits per game on average. Um, so over the course of 10 games, we'd expect him to get uh, between 13 and 14 hits. Uh, over 100 games, we would expect him to have 134 hits, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now let's find our standard deviation. The good news is we've already done the hard part of entering all the data. So the standard deviation, we need to remember that our variance, so this sigma squared, uh, is the sum of x squared times p of x, so this value, so uh, the 0 through 5, that squared times the probability, and then we add all of those up. So that would be 0 squared times the 0 0.1712 plus 1 squared times 0.4995 plus 2 squared times 0 0.2086, so on and so forth. Um, we're going to do all that and then subtract mu squared. So the first step to find the standard deviation is finding the variance. So the variance 
If we go to our stat menu again, so shift number one and go to sum, we have an x squared y, which is what we're after. So number seven and then hit equal. We're at 2.8874. So we've got 2.8874. So that's the first part of the formula, the sum of x squared times p of x, and we have to subtract mu squared, or our mean squared, or expected value squared. So minus 1.3404 squared. So the 2.8874 minus 1.3404 equals 1.547. So our variance of our discrete random variable is 1.547. So our standard deviation of that variable is going to be the square root of that. So the square root of 1.547, which is one point two four three seven eight so one point two four and we'll go to three decimal places so two four three eight